What up, y'all? Kevin Mike up on this picture again, making a second movie today, actually. And uh, it's going to be a video response to uh, the blue, boy blue again. Because <laughs> I uh, just watched a video again done. It's very, 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 uh, you know, I would have to say it's very on point speculation he's, he's got when he says that uh, is ICP a little more, you know, intimidated by Twisted. Because I definitely agree with Blue on when he's saying, you know, Twisted, you know, has been surpassing ICP lyrically for quite some time. You know, um, in my opinion, personally, Twisted has been surpassing ICP lyrically and musically uh, for quite a while. And But we also have to know that if it wasn't for ICP, then Twisted would not be where they are today. At least not, you know, they, they, they may so they may, you know, still be here, but not as they are now. And, uh, you know, it's a very good fucking point, you know. I mean, when I put it all down, you know, I, I'm a jungle of through and through, but, you know, I, I when it comes to music, I listen to a lot of fucking Twisted, opposed to ICP. I listen to them both a lot, but, you know, I listen to a lot of Twisted. And, you know, obviously that's because Twisted appeals to me more lyrically and more theatrically than ICP does. But I also should say that ICP appeals to me, appeals to me lyrically and theatrically in other ways that Twisted cannot, you know, because Byron J. Will, you know, he'll tell you, he'll tell the devil all the time, he's the dude of the wicked, the creator of the wicked shit, you know, and he's, which, which is very true, you know, he's got a lot to do with, you know, the huge influence on, you know, the, 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 the wicked shit music scene nowadays, you know, I think he has a lot to do with that, and yet so does Twisted. And of course, it is a goddamn shame that we, you know, have to see, had to see Twisted Leaf Psychopathic, but, you know, I, I believe it, it truly did have to be done. It had to be done in order for Twisted to grow even more lyrically and theatrically. You know, because Mono says it himself in one of his interviews, he does, you know, like, he, he says, uh, before, when we were on Psychopathic, we could only have a couple friends over. But now, shit, <laughs> everyone's invited. <laughs> And, you know, that's the shit. Like, you know, that's basically him saying, you know, that's basically him saying, uh, you know, before on Psychopathic, you know, they they couldn't do, listen, they, they couldn't do basically half the shit that they have been wanting to do for Twisted and for the fans, for the Juggalos. I should, you know, for the family, whatever. The fan base. <laughs> and, uh... You know, now that they are, you know, branching out and doing their own thing, I really believe that they're going to fucking, they're going to be huge. We're going to see Twisted doing a lot in the future. And that's, like, my opinion. I can fucking feel it. And ICP knows this. And ICP, you know, they already have. They've already taken a fucking step back. Just by having Twisted leave the label, just by all that bullshit happening, you know, I see ICP sees that Twisted is touring in Canada. That's automatically intimidating to ICP because Joe Bruce even tweeted that they had never, you know, went to Canada yet, as far as my knowledge, and that they've always wanted to do it. And now that Twisted has played Canada, they are going to make it, you know, as soon as Shaggy gets off probation, they're going to make it a fucking point to go to Canada and play a couple shows, which is fucking awesome, you know. But when it comes down to Blue saying is IDP intimidated by Twisted, I honestly think in some ways, yes. But in others, no. You know, when it, when it comes down to, you know, like the whole money fucking making business and all that shit, Twisted is something to be very intimidated of. You know, Joe Bruce says all the time, you know, the fucking, he's, he's always, when, when Twisted was on Psychopathic, you know, like, you you know, you always introduce, you know, Twisted as the fucking devastating Twisted, you know, before any other, you know, act on the label. You know, because, of course, Twisted did come second to the label, 
after, you know, or whatever, but, you know, Twisted is just, the, they're the shit. They say all Twisted is the motherfucking shit, and, you know, I honestly believe that we're going to see Twisted doing the craziest shit possible in the future. We're going to see him in movies, we're going to see him doing fucking awesome, crazy music, we're going to see him hopefully on a new label of their own, we're going to fucking see this, we're, we're just going to, there's a lot of badass shit in stock for the future of Twisted. And I honestly believe that, and I am fucking so excited for it. And I am very excited for the future of ICP, too, but I'm not going to lie. I am more excited to see what Twisted has on the horizon, because I believe it's going to be dope as fuck. It's going to be the shit. So, uh, yeah, there's my video response to Blue, my second one today. <laughs> not riding anyone's ball bags or anything, but... Maybe I am. <laughs> no, I was just fucking around. But, uh, yeah. Much motherfucking weed, proud love to all my juggalos out there. Much motherfucking wicked family love. And, uh, yeah. Love you on that motherfucking shit. Hope y'all have a motherfucking great rest of the day and night. And I will see y'all motherfuckers tomorrow unless I get bored and want to make another goddamn video. Much motherfucking weed, proud love y'all. Peace up in this B.I.